Good morning. It is Tuesday, October the 4th. This is Shay Gibson bringing you the Chucktown Wind Report. And we're looking at the winds right now along the southeast coast. What we have is a, a fairly moderate gradient building into the coastline as the northeast wedge sets up for our coast for the next couple of days and actually into later in the week as we watch Hurricane Matthew coming up from the south. So things may start to deteriorate by Friday with that system. But for right now, what we have is moderate winds. We have 17 to 20 along Outer Banks. We have 18 to 22 at Cape Fear, 22 to 25 knots at Winyah Bay, which is about 55 miles to our northeast. So this northeast wedge is going to set up for the day pretty much. If we see any pockets of sunshine, we may see some higher values along the beaches. But for right now, it looks like the winds are a little bit on the offshore values with north-northeast. This is sort of symptomatic of what we have, sort of a land-breezing north-northeasterly wind. But as the as the sun comes up and the, the day progresses, these winds are expected to lean more onshore, sideshore, and then build. If we get any pockets of sunshine, we'll likely see some of those east-northeast sea breezes along the Charleston coast. So this is really all in part due to high pressure to our north. If we look here at the northeast United States along Maine, here's the high pressure right here. This is bringing down the wedge down into that coastal troughing. This is an old front that has decayed and is sort of just kind of hanging around right now. In fact, if we look at the rainbow image, let me go ahead and switch to the loop here. We can see all of this area of troughing right here. Now, we can't rule out a couple of sh stray showers here and there, but it looks like mostly this is going to be a dry front with high pressure wedging down into it. So the winds today, I'm going to go ahead and call for about 17 to 21 knots. We may see some higher values as time goes on. Let's take a quicker, I'm sorry, closer look at the Charleston area. Let's zoom in and see what's going on right now. And this is this is usually typical in the mornings when this setup happens. So we have these, these north-northeast values, and then you start to see a little bit of a lean to the northeast as time goes on once the sun comes up and we get maybe a little a few pockets of sunshine we'll see these winds sort of lean into the coastline we may even see easterly values cutting in through the harbor sort of a venturi effect that comes in and then we'll see micro breezing up and along the james island backside james island areas but the beaches <clears throat> usually end up taking on the stronger winds the barrier island beaches see the strongest winds from this so we're expecting 17 to 21 knots today and tomorrow for that matter and then as we look forward in time I'm going to take a quick look at the National Hurricane Center. Here is Matthew right here down <clears throat> just along western Haiti right now. They're, they're probably having a very bad morning right now. The winds are at 145 miles per hour, pressure at 934 millibars holding, and still heading to the north at about 9 miles per hour. So it looks like it's going to go up and skirt eastern Cuba and then make a turn to the northwest up through the Bahamas. So here's our five-day track for the system. And this has been a, this has been a pretty consistent uh, trend for the last 24 hours or so. It looks like the Euro joined in on this fully as the system makes its way very close to the Florida coast and up along the southeast region. Looks like Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina will all be feeling uh, portions of the system in one on one level or another. It looks like we could even see hurricane force winds along our coastline according to this track. So the time to prepare is right now. The winds, are, like I said, are still holding at 145 miles per hour for the system. So it's remaining strong. And as it goes up into the Bahamas, there's going to be some warmer sea surface temperatures at 86 degrees. All of this water is very warm right now. There has not had very many storms come across to churn the top. And so what we have is a, a large body of warm water. And then we have the Gulf Stream as it enters the Gulf Stream just off the of Florida coast. It's also going to have another source of fuel there, but as it gets in closer towards the South Carolina, North Carolina coast, there, there are some cooler shelf waters, about 80 to 83 degrees, that may help to limit its capacity to maintain major hurricane status. You can see here by 2 a.m. Friday, it's holding major hurricane status just off of Florida. And so Florida has declared a state of emergency, so has North Carolina, and I wouldn't be surprised to see Georgia and South Carolina follow suit today as this trend continues to bring this system into the coastline. Very dangerous system. Here's the floater for it right now. It looks like it's passing over western Haiti right now. They're getting the core of the system. Very, very strong winds, 145 miles per hour. The, the swell heights from the central Caribbean buoy were 34 feet uh, yesterday, I'm sorry, two nights ago. So... Flooding is all is imminent, as well as mudslides, strong winds, and this will continue up through western Haiti and up across uh, eastern Cuba in time. So if we look at the Euro model, we also see this agreement as well with the system coming up into the Bahamas and then skirting into the coastline into Florida, along Florida coast, and then up through uh, along South Carolina and North Carolina. So that's kind of the, uh, the thought right now. The Euro is in agreement also with the GFS, which has been consistently on this for days now, but now the Euro is with it. And so when we have this much agreement from the two major players, it looks like it's almost an imminent situation. It's very probable at this point. We're only days out. We're only about 
96 hours. So uh, with this kind of a trend, it looks like this is likely going to happen. Uh, even if the system stays offshore, we could still see hurricane force winds, and especially on Saturday. This is about 2 in the morning where the system is nearing the Charleston area and heading up the coastline into the Grand Strand. Looks like a possible landfall on the Grand Strand uh, before it heads up into southeast North Carolina and Outer Banks. So something to watch very, very closely over the next couple of days if this track does jog in and may take the system a little further offshore. However, it's not. It's looking less and less likely at this point as the system continues to get pushed to the west in time. So that's going to do it for the Chucktown Wind Report for this issue. And I'll be back on hopefully tonight for a live video feed and a YouTube video to explain more about Hurricane Matthew as a separate entity. But for right now, that's it, that's it for the Chucktown Wind Report. Thanks for watching.